Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are doing the Early Access event for Brothers War, thanks to Wizards of the Coast. We get to play a bunch of the new cards a day early. Uh, so we're gonna try out a bunch of them for standard best of one. Uh, this particular list is a mono block aggro deck. Uh, and they gave a skull clamp, kind of, uh, in Transmogrant's Crown two mana. Equip creature goes plus two O. Oh. When it dies, you draw a card, equip for two or uh, a black mana. And what we're doing is we're playing it in a, a shell that's got a bunch of card advantage. Gix lets us draw a card whenever a creature deals damage to an opponent. Uh, Braids lets us sack stuff and get value. And we have stuff to sack like Razor Lash Transmogrant. Two mana, three one, can't block. You can return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, usually costs six, but if your opponent has uh, four more non-basics, it only costs two. Uh, so a way to kind of cheat that in. Uh, you have Clay Revenant that could come back from the graveyard. Uh, so what we have is a lot of like pseudo evasive creatures, a uh, bunch of one drops that we can draw cards from, don't mind sacking. This is also like an enchantment. This is also an artifact, kind of get around that way. Um, some underdogs, we got some Sorens for card advantage, and then Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. It's either a three mana spell or a seven mana spell, uh, just scales in terms. Prototype means you can cast it for three, it becomes a three, three, or you cast it for seven for seven mana. We also have Mishra's Foundry, which is a creature land that's pretty easy on the mana in this particular deck. Um, so let's jump into it, see how it goes. Uh, we played a bunch of different decks today. I think this is like my seventh video. Um, everything will be up on the YouTube. We'll also do meta breakdown starting on the weekend once the general public gets access. But it's been a fun set. Some very powerful cards. Lots of uh, cheating into play big things. Uh, so we will keep, we go first... So I'm going to go Evolve Sleeper first, because then I can go Sleeper and Clay Revenant. And I get to pump the Sleeper. And then I can go to Braids, sack the Clay Revenant, draw a card potentially. And the chick is wild. Just play that out now. These infernal grasps aren't ideal against mono red. Taking two damage to kill something. It's so a pretty free attack because either we trade with the Dwarven Forge Chanter. So we'll sack this. Okay, we're on like heavy, 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 heavy. Oh, this just returns it to hand. Okay, so strike coming down. Kumano. So we'll have to get rid of Dwarven next turn. I think we prioritize Okiba this turn. Just start killing stuff. This isn't great that I gotta pay four life to kill this. It's also like particularly annoying. We only play three of these and we draw true two. Now we're pretty far behind. Hey, Flesh Gorger is a card that we are going to have to cast for Prototype and hope they don't have the third Lightning Strike.
At least if I could get a block off, it's not bad. Don't hover. You don't need to hover. Anger and electric static inventory. Can't play it that turn. They could go anger. Take the free block this turn. Um, I think we just do that. Hold up double grasp this turn. There's a chance they draw a burn spell. And I probably don't have a favorable block. Can I just kill him on the crackback? Take four. Got him. Xaxes. Okay, wasn't pretty. Creature lines got us. Flesh Gorger just helped us stabilize enough. The early like lightning strikes kind of hurt, prevented us from doing what we wanted to. Fine. We do want another land, ideally. Could be cut down. Still think we do this. Could be cut it cut cut it cut down. I was really hoping for a land that turn so we could equip Clay Revenant. Okay, I got two counters. This is fine, because if we draw land, even I, I have a kill spell, we're on a three turn clock. And that needs to die. 
The beginning of your combat turn. Yes, please. Land. Land! Could have gotten braids, but I think just setting this up because I can sack the enchantment to get a card draw. Come on. I believe in you. What's happening? This is almost, if I play one more non-basic, we get to get the cost reduction. We will take five. Okay, that is very scary. That was my removal. And now we've probably died. They gain eight here. I guess I can go braids. Problem is we're just taking like like they're gaining eight a turn. Soren won't do it. I need another infernal grasp. I have to double block on the gorger. Because I'm dead. This feels awful. Stumbled a little on lands, but Shieldred's going to do Shieldred things. My only removal is Infernal Grasp. So we kind of die that way. You can also unearth and then blink it and then it comes back so they have the ability to kind of go there but as Flesh Gorger won us game one it was the reason we lost game two. J more scalable worm coil engine. Come on, find me an opponent. Like, I don't want too much removal on the deck. 
Honestly, Braids kind of sucks in this deck. We'll probably cut Braids. Because, like, Go for the Throat doesn't really help there. We can go Shieldred, maybe, of our own. Because the thing is, with Braids, we're sacking our actual creatures. I'm, like, in a game. I can't even exit. This might just go to draw. Alright, we got a draw. I didn't try without braids, because I'm not impressed. Let's cut braids. Let's go another flush gorger. Go another land, play 24. We've been stuck on lands more than anything. and Maybe we just go up to the, th the fourth Gix. Like, we always want to have it on curve, ideally. Underdog Tron. Underdog Pump Underdog. Um, it's honestly probably a Kiba here. Because I want Yogg or Gix to come down and later. So they have some sort of removal or some sort of action. This could be the flash, um, make two one ones. Which is fine, because we just bluff. So they could have reinforcements, but then I just pump my Evolve Sleepers. Strike Force. So I think this turn, we just attack with one of these. Probably shouldn't have even attacked with it. Because they just throw a 1-1 one -one in front of it. Because I kind of want to play Flesh Gorger. Okay, they let it go, thankfully. And then we go Gix next turn. Draw a bunch of cards. Surprised, I would have probably thrown a 1-1 one -one in. It just forces my mana. Like, they got a lot of cards in hand, but not a lot of life. Um, they block, they block, they block. I get to draw some cards at least. I don't like the premature good game. That has menace. Cool. 
So we can pump these and then next turn I have enough mana to pump them as death touchers. And then I have my two menacers. Four, three. Okay, so they're going wide. Okay, so with the Lord, them blocking is actually very good for us. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna kill you. In that case, we just do singular pump here. They didn't even tap. So I can get this to Death Toucher, and then I have the Underdog. Gix looking really nice here, just drawing us a whole bunch. First Strike could be relevant on Thalia. Okay, so they're going to attack in. So, this is good. I don't even know if we want to do that. Probably should have held off till next turn. Because now they're stabilizing. I can draw cards with underdog, but the sky. Should have held off. Yeah, especially because they show another Thalia here. Need a flush gorger. Second one. This card's like the best card in the uh, soldier's archetype. Tap that way. Problem is, like, now they just have one ones constantly. We definitely need some sort of evasive, because then with this they also get to draw cards, so like it's... It just nets out.
even with the fade off but Nah, we're done here. They're just gonna keep grinding us. I think I wanna try one other thing. Like this sucks. There's the one mana one one flyer. Like it's not good, but it's evasive, and I think that's what we want. Because right now, Soren is also not good. Alright, let's try that. Because we're not able to get over the top of them. Like if we're able to go... Yeah, so we can go Kiba, play the crown, have crown ready. We'll go Razor Slash. This might be a game where this is just a seven mana. So we see Fable here. Spirit Sister call, so trying to cheat stuff into play. These come back for two mana now. Okay, so we see drag. So I think we... Just play our Gix here. Can bring these back at instant speed. Might have been right. Because I have this with haste. Okay, so they do have Wandering Emperor up. Keep this in the tank. Like there's a lot of good elements here. Okay, so that's just gonna kill them. Too many top lines. Probably looking for ley line binding.
Yep. So they find the binding. Draws me a card. But I got this back at instant speed. I can haste this back, and I also have Mishra's Foundry. This is basically returning stuff from the graveyard. Like the evasion on this one's not too bad. Sure here. Alright. Took down five color stuff. Stuff and things. Yeah, I think going with the slightly more evasive package would be a little bit better overall. Um like the one twos while recursive, it doesn't really do much. Um, I like this because at least it gets in the air. Um, if you equipped it with this, just a 3-1 that is kind of awkward. It could trade up with Death Touch as well. Um, but we're going to wrap this one up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Catch you next time. Stay safe out there.